Now is the time that normally we would have our offering, and of course, I don't have an offering plate in your house, so you can't do that. So how can we do an offering? We shouldn't stop doing that part of our worship service just because we can't meet together. Now, not all of you come to our churches, and that doesn't matter. The important thing is that you're giving to the Lord, um, giving back a portion of what you've received, and you give that to the Lord in either service for your community, um, an offering for maybe those that can't afford to buy groceries or something else. But also the church, your church, is going to need money to keep going. So what I'm going to recommend is instead of an offering uh, plate, you put money that you'd normally put in the offering plate into an envelope and keep it. The problem that a lot of people have is that they don't give unless they're in church. So if we miss three Sundays, your church may be hurting a little bit. If we can lay this money aside till we go to church, or maybe you give to a good organization like the Salvation Army or um, to a food pantry, that would be something you could put in this envelope and then give it to them because they're all going to need finances to keep going at this time too. So let's take this time um, to give to the Lord because we've received so much from him. Um, let's pray. Father, thank you so much for all you've given. And we pray that the offerings that we're going to lay aside are going to be used for your kingdom. We pray that people would be blessed by the offerings that we are going to give. And we pray that we would be generous. Thank that you have built up a generous people. And I pray that they would give now, even as things are getting pinched and resources may not be as free, I pray that you would touch hearts of those that can give to help others. We pray that you would bless this offering in Jesus' name. Amen.